Hi again, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle, and uh, I've got another video today on a non-World War II backpack radio. This is the Vietnam era backpack radio, the Prick 77, and I want to talk to you about batteries. Um, if you've uh, just picked one of these up off eBay or something like that, you open the battery compartment and uh, there's no battery and you wonder what the heck to do. Well, there's a lot of options for batteries on these Prick 77s. Um, the original batteries used by the US military often were a uh, magnesium battery. They also had various other versions of non-rechargeable batteries. These, uh, these batteries are practically, uh, I don't know that you can even buy a good vintage magnesium battery anymore. You can buy dead ones, and uh, on the inside, this is what the magnesium battery looks like. You can see this one is severely corroded in several of the cells, completely useless and uh, probably dangerous. So, <clears throat> not using the uh, vintage batteries. This is what most people use. This is a battery adapter that holds 10 D-cell batteries. Here, I'll open it up. You can also find these from various vendors online. And um, it's very convenient. D-cell batteries are easy to get at any, any grocery store, Home Depot, or whatever. But uh, when they're dead, they're dead. So that's, I guess, the downside. There you go. That's what it looks like with it stacked full of batteries. Three rows of three batteries, an extra slot on the side for the 10th battery gives you a good solid 12 volts uh, and enough juice here to power the system. Running off of D batteries, you could probably get 24 good hours depending on how much transmitting you do with the radio. Solid. Uh, easy to get a hold of <clears throat> and that's what most people choose if you're going to be able to access a vehicle battery or some other power source you can also find adapters this one will adapt 12 volt system for use with a Prick 77 battery and you can connect this up through alligator clips or whatever to a, to a vehicle battery or a power supply of some kind. And you're not relying on uh, individual uh, wet cell batteries or D-cell batteries. So that's a little bit more expensive option, but could be very useful depending on your application. Next, um, I want to talk about renovating these old magnesium batteries. Here's, uh, here's what more and more people are doing, especially the, the guys who are using the Prick 77s a lot, like MVPA members. I've pulled the corroded battery out, reused the connector that's built in with this magnesium battery and connected a 12 volt gel cell rechargeable battery to it. I've soldered my own wires in, taped it up, shimming it with some styrofoam fit inside of the battery, the, the original cardboard box that the magnesium battery came in. And this gives me a very versatile rechargeable solution where I'm not constantly buying 10 more D cell batteries, which can run you 15 bucks easily just for a, a whole new set of D batteries to go inside this battery holder. So go with the go with the rechargeable battery if that works for you. Lots of different options. You can have your Prick 77 transmitting and receiving in no time, and uh, lots of different ways to make that work for you. Hope you learned something. Let us know if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll show you more next time. Thanks.